What's up everybody, it's Ash, I'm back again. And today we're gonna to talk about how to set up a subdomain in ClickFunnels. Let's see right now, uh, my homepage is the salesfunneltips.com. If you haven't been here, go ahead and check it out. So now what I wanna do is hook up a subdomain using ClickFunnels from my HostGator account. So if you don't have a, so we're gonna go first, I'm gonna show you, just go to HostGator. And if you go to HostGator, you want to buy a domain, you're going to put your name, if you're going to put a domain name in here, let's try something. All right, of course, we're just throwing this in the sales. As you see, it's not available. We just grab this just for fun. We'll say add the cart and see what you want to do is you want domain protection and you want domain privacy and get it for a year. You're going to continue to check out. All right. So now we at the person screen is going to ask for your card information, your payment information. Of course, I'm logged in. I'm not going to buy this domain because it's going to charge me. So I'm not going to hit the checkout button. I don't want to charge me. So now we're going to get off this screen. I'm going to go to my dashboard. All right. All right. This is my dashboard. You're going to see I got my domain. I can check on see how many domains I got hosted here. I host all my domains here at hostgator.com. Of course, there's a lot of other well domain hosting services. I've been using this for a long time, so you can choose whatever one you want. Um, I have a discount code at the bottom. You can click the link and you can get your domain down here. So, and now let's go to ClickFunnels. Okay, in ClickFunnels, as you know, if you don't want to host your main domain there because you have a website on it. So that's why I started out and show you my homepage. So I have most of my websites hosted on other platforms, but this particular website, I have it hosted on WordPress. And I moved a lot of my other websites from WordPress to another hosting provider because, because some of the plugins and updates slowing down, it's like piecing things together and it got kind of frustrating with some of my more advanced websites so but i'm still currently hosting this one on wordpress with them eventually i may move it all right so but as you can see my domain is the sales funnel tip dot com that's my main domain on this website but i don't want to move my whole website to click funnels so what i'm going to do is take one of my subdomains and move it over to click funnels and i'm going to show you how to do it because if you use ClickFunnels, you'll notice it doesn't show you how to do it in HostGator. Let's just go there. So here we are in ClickFunnels. I have two subdomains that I've currently loaded in there from the sales funnel tips, and I'm going to show you how to do another one. All right. So you want to go to add domain, but you're going to go to use an existing domain. But the key is for HostGator, before you add a domain, you want to go add a subdomain. Watch this. So I'm going to head back over to HostGator and create a subdomain. Because what I found out is if you create a subdomain before you added a C name, it doesn't work properly when you do it in ClickFunnels. So let me show you. So I'm going back over to my HostGator account. So now I'm going to launch cPanel. So now as we go into the cPanel, we want to go scroll all the way down till you see Simple Zone Editor, DNS Simple Zone Editor. You want to click and you want to select your domain name. Of course, we're using the Sales Funnels tip. And you want to hit target.clickfunnels.com. And I've already copied and pasted. So I'm going to make up... Uh, Subdomain here, I'm going to call this access, A-C-C. I'm going to call this, make sure I spell it right, access.salesfunnotips.com. That looks right. And you want to hit add C name. Wow, and there you have it. That's how you add a C name to ClickFunnels. 
using HostGator. So what you want to do now, now you can go here and put in access dot dot the sales funnel tip dot com. You want to make sure it's spelled correctly. Hit add domain. And of course, it's going to say in order to do this, uh, yes, I've already done this step. He said, I'm done. It's going to check. Said, do I want to associate a funnel with this site? Associate the funnel. And there you have it. So the next step you want to do, and now it's verified, and now you want to access the SSL. You want to hit expand, add SSL certificate, and let ClickFunnels does its thing. And there you have it, access.thesalesfunneltips.com. That's how you add a subdomain to ClickFunnels account. If you've been wondering how to do it using HostGator, and if you want a HostGator account, I have a link below. Click the link down below. Also, if you want to sign up with a partner with Anthony Program, go to access.thesalesfunneltips.com. Also, if you need to sign up for ClickFunnels, just click that little tab down at the bottom that says ClickFunnels. Have a wonderful day. Keep moving forward.